let's cover some of the most important map locations now three of the first locations that we would be discussing talk about thrissur the first one is the pulikali now this is one of the famous dances of kerala common in the region of thrissur and you have traditional percussion instruments which are used to perform this dance uh, very very important and uh, the people usually wear a mask and that is called a tiger mask similar to this we also have a tiger dance again from the region of thrissur and this has basically a folk theme which is very very important now coming on to thrissur itself thrissur is known as the cultural capital of kerala it's very very important it's also known as the land of purams and you have numerous ancient uh, temples churches mosques that are present in this region so thrissur the cultural capital of kerala is important you can have a simple question on uh, the cultural capital of india and location cultural capital of kerala and its location the next is the the csir lab which is the central mechanical engineering research institute located in durgapur has developed the first world's largest solar tree and this project has a capacity to generate nearly 12000 to 14000 units uh, of clean energy and its green power as well so definitely this is a breakthrough development that has been seen by the central mechanical uh, engineering research institute where it is located at durgapur uh, near uh, sorry at durgapur in west bengal now coming on to durgapur itself durgapur is known as the steel capital of east india uh, so very very important steel capital of east india so it's durgapur coming on to the next location is rio Pargil it's also known as Leo Pargil or Leo Pargilia uh, recently we have seen that this location which is at the Kinnor border of uh, Himachal Pradesh and at the Tibet border so here we have seen that a first successful expedition during the pandemic happened and this is on the zanskar range so again important this range, this is part of the zanskar range so rio pargil or leo pargil as the names are so all these three mean the same so it's just the same name and it is one of the major peaks of zanskar range the next is at jakur we have the jawaharlal nehru center for advanced scientific research here interdisciplinary research has been promoted a lot of uh, research and development activities have been done recently a theranostics which is a kind of diagnostic therapy has been uh, developed for lung cancer so again a breakthrough development that has been seen by jawaharlal nehru center for advanced scientific research institute The next is the Kalihora village. Now, Kalihora village is one of the uh, highly malnourished areas in Satna. Satna is considered to be the highest malnourished district in Madhya Pradesh, and then Kalihora village is again considered to be highly malnourished. Uh, definitely, it is known for its cultural. Uh, conservations and the tourist destinations that are there the next is the dongria kond and this is one of the most vulnerable tribal group which is seen in the niyamgiri hill areas in odisha uh, also there had been a recent dispute over the mining rights that have been seen in the niyamgiri forest areas uh, the natives are working hard for their own subsistence you have numerous uh, tribal cooperative labor groups that have come in this region the next is subansari district now subansari district is known for its thick forest cover nearly 82% of the area is under forest it is one of the 25 administrative districts of uh, arunachal pradesh so subansari is important some of the major tribes that are seen in subansari area are apatani nishi and uh, these are the languages that are again spoken there common festivals are diri festival nokum uh, these festivals we have covered in our class on northeast festivals so if you want to know more about the festivals uh, common in the northeast region of india we have covered those separately 
the next important location is Kandamahal. Kandamahal got recently a GI tag and that was for its haldi or turmeric. Kandamahal is an important location in region of Odisha with lots of hilly and forest area. Numerous cultivation for ginger, turmeric, tamarind and mustard has been seen in this region. Chanapatnam. Uh, Chanapatna. Chanapatna is a region in Karnataka. It's known for its traditional toy making industry and it is also known as the toy town of Karnataka. Now toy town of Karnataka as it is known as it is also known as Oru. You have ivory work, woodwork which is commonly seen and Chanapatta Patna toys are famous throughout India recently has been given a GI tag. So GI tags are important. Recent GI tags being assigned are again important. Ramnagar district is known for its silk and therefore it's also known as the silk city. Uh, it is one of the largest markets of silk cocoon in Asia. So Ramnagar district in Karnataka is important. The next is in the region of Uttar Pradesh, we have the Sadik Sinolir area. Now this lies in the Bagpat district of Uttar Pradesh. Uh, recently you have numerous archaeological works that have been done here and this region has been declared as a region of national importance. So Sadik Sadikpur Sinoli is in Bagpat district in Uttar Pradesh, an important location. The next is Bagpat district as we have talked about. Uh, it's an agricultural based area. Sugarcane, wheat, mustard are the major crops that are grown here. Nimhans located in Bangalore in Karnataka is one of the major centers for neurological sciences and studies. Uh, Nimhans recently developed at IBT which is an Indian brain template which is also known as the brain atlas so far we were using the montreal neurological index template in india uh, but that was based on caucasian brains not the asian brains so nimans has done an exceptional work of creating an indian brain temp template which has been a breakthrough development in the field of psychology the next is inflipnet inflipnet is one of the major inter-university centers which was converted into an inter-university center in 1996 and it was initially under the IUCAA project that started in 1991 a major center for university networking across India the next is Sharavati uh, Sharavati National Park wildlife sanctuary is important Sharavati is known for its uh, lion tailed Macau and the conservation of lion tailed Macau. Wildlife conservation has been a major development located in the region of Karnataka. The next is Western Ghats. Now, Western Ghats run across the region of Maharashtra, Karnataka, and Kerala area. As we said, lion tailed Macau is endemic to these areas. Beside the Shravati uh, wildlife sanctuary, you have uh, presence of the lion tailed Macau in many of the regions in Western Ghats. The next is Wayanad. Now, Wayanad wildlife sanctuary is present in Kerala. It's part of the Nilgiri Biosphere Reserve. Now, Nilgiri Biosphere Reserve encompasses the three regions of Kerala, Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. Here you have lots of camping and trailing sites and uh, bird watching is one of the major uh, things that is popularly seen in the Wayanar uh, Wildlife Sanctuary area. So those were some of the key developments that we have seen here. We would be covering many more interesting locations in the upcoming sessions. So stay tuned for many more updates from our side. Have a wonderful day.